This is our pneumatic screen stretching machine. First thing we do is drop in a new frame. Straighten up the clamps. And then pick the mesh we want to stretch. This is a 150, it's labeled on the corner. We pre cut these to size. Let's lay it out like this. The cardboard box is in the middle just to keep the mesh from sagging down into the middle of the frame. that corner down. We stretch it out evenly. Make sure it's pretty much straight with the frame. Get rid of as much sagging as we can and then we start closing the clamp. So you close the clamp in the middle on this side and then in the middle on that side. And here they take a good bit of pushing to close and then we have to adjust the corners. If we just clamped it like this when we pulled, it would rip. So you put them down and then you take up a little slack and then you clamp them. So again, close it down and then take a little mesh up and then clamp it down like that. It's called softening the corners. Now, we can turn on the air and start to tension this. This is a 150 mesh. I've got a cheat sheet here that says for 150 mesh, I want to first get up to a certain tightness, which is equivalent to 32 pounds per inch. So I turn this on. And turn the dials until it reads 32 this way and 32 the other way and then I've got a little meter here I put it on top and it says we're reading right about 16 I want to be closer to 18 but one of the things I like to do is just sort of tap these a little bit because they stick and I'm cleverly Placed my hammer, get those three over there as well. And then we put this on, and now it's reading 18 in both directions. So, what we will do now is we'll let this sit and stretch and relax for about a couple of hours. Now that the screen has been sitting for about two hours, you can see that the pressure has dropped from 18 down to 13. So we're going to increase the pressure going to the cylinders. So let me tip the camera down. There's my pressure gauges. And I'm going to turn them up to 36. Let me get the hammer. And we'll tap on the pistons. And the pressure now reads around 20, which is perfect. So we'll now leave this overnight, and then tomorrow we'll turn it up a little bit more. So I let the screen sit on the stretching machine overnight. The tension of the screen has dropped from 20 newtons down to 18, as you can see from the gauge. So I'm going to turn the pressure up again and let it sit for a couple more hours before I finally glue the screen down. It says to dial it up to 40 PSI for the next set. So I'll do that. And like before, now we're reading right about 22, 23, which is exactly where we want it at. So let's leave it sit for another couple hours before we glue it down. 
The frame has now been sitting on the stretcher for almost 24 hours. I've done three tightenings. It's gone down a little bit more than I'd like, so I think I'm going to just simply take the rubber mallet, tighten up the air cylinders a little bit, and then glue this on. The current tension is 21. I'd like to see it closer to 23 or even 24 before I glue it. So let's go. And we're now at 24 newtons of tension. So I can now glue up the frame. I have a rapid curing two-part glue here. And I simply take off my fancy meter and get it somewhere where I don't spill glue all over it. And then put a large flat sheet of aluminum onto the frame to help hold the mesh tight against the metal while I'm gluing it. Because this needs to be a nice tight fit here with this glue. And then I simply squirt the glue out and using this fancy high-tech spreader, push it around. Sometimes the corners are a little open, so I press down a little bit while the glue sets up. Then I slide the panel to the next corner and keep working my way around the frame. Now that this is all glued up, I'll let this sit for about 15 minutes before I cut it out. Now that the mesh is firmly attached to the frame, I'm going to add a little bit more glue on the inside just to provide about a one inch border. So that ink and anything, nothing can come through the screen around the edge. Now that the frame has dried for at least 20 minutes, we can relieve the pressure and take off the clamp. So I'm going to let the pressure off first. almost as hard as closing. So I've labeled the frame with the mesh at both ends so I can see it, the final pressure that the frame is right now, and the date we made it. And now I can simply take the knife, which I cleverly left on the other side, and trim this off. This goes pretty easy. Usually. And the frame is now ready to be chemically washed with a degreaser and a bit of an abrasive solution that roughens up this very smooth mesh. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more glue in the inside corners. That just seals this up so that ink can't get in there. So I just run a bead like that. Tap it down. And let it sit for a minute. And I'll do all four sides. And then this frame is ready to go into production.